I wanted to pivot uh, to talk a little bit about social media, and I know you followed uh, what was taking place in Washington last yes. week with Facebook, I Mark did. Zuckerberg, and his position effectively that he wants to allow political advertising uh, on Facebook, and not only allow it, but allow it such that you can say effectively as a politician well, you know what? whatever you here's want. The what thing. do you think? Well, here's the thing. He's right. Not only is he right, is he right it's against the law on broadcast television. You cannot censor political advertising. Did you know that? Even if it's a lie? It doesn't matter. You can't censor it. Uh, by the way, how are you going to prove a lie, given most of these commercials in negative advertising are filled with exaggerations and things? Right. But I think Mark Zuckerberg is completely right. I think he's become this poster boy, and he, you know, I. I actually think of all the services, of all these big monopolistic services, Facebook is really the most benign. I, I Facebook does not compete with its advertisers like the others do. Let me read you what Tom Friedman says in the New York Times today. He says, the internet barons have for, have for far too long ignored the weaponization of social media, which, in, which is turning our free press into a house of mirrors, he says, where citizens can no longer cognitively discern fact from fiction and make informed judgments essential for okay, democracy. Okay, fine. Thank you, Tom. But what are you <laughs> going to do about it? Seriously, because here is the thing, that, that you cannot, look, we're at the very early days of this, of, uh, of this kind of bullhorn that anybody can use for any purpose. So there's just tons of stuff out there. You know, to indict these uh, people who are in charge of these systems. By the way, they're not, you know, but believe me, the one thing they don't want is this huge draft on them of their responsibilities. But by the way, I think Facebook has spent billions of dollars to try and tame this. Because everybody would want to tame it. It ain't easy to but do so. Elizabeth, what do you do? When you see Elizabeth Warren take out an ad that's factually false just to prove that it's doable. Are we now going to get into truth? in terms of po political positioning. And you're a big boy. Aren't you a big boy? I'm a big boy. I, I you know, and, are you going to get I, hurt I, I, by I this? I don't believe what I read all the time, except the New York Times. Uh, but I don't believe what I read. Uh, all, I'm, I'm a big boy. I can take it. I'll, let me, let me, I don't want Mark deciding whether it's, whether I can handle it or not. He can't, he can't. And he can't, he, he, they but, can't look, ride if, herd over that. No one can do it. You it's the just election the way it date is. is, is if I'm telling you the election date is a different date than the location you're supposed to go to. Oh, believe me, somebody's going to get it right. I mean, come on. You know, yes, it's very hard to discern things. But by the way, you, one of the reasons you choose what you take in, what you read, et cetera, is because one hopes you've done a little due diligence and you think that they're hateful words, fair and balanced, that have been right. so damaged by those guys down the road. Uh, so but Words still mean the same thing there. You can use it. Fair and balance still is, is a good thing. To do you do. think so? I think, I it's think you don't need to hit, hit, hit. It's not tainted forever. They're English words. They don't own them. Well, I think it's proprietary now. <laughs> okay, God, that's horrible. Then nothing's fair and balanced except them. <laughs>